Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com, and in this tutorial, we're going to work through this image using the SR Lounge Lightroom 4 preset system brush presets. Okay, so we have the same image from the last tutorial that we were talking about, and we've just applied the standard import preset. And what we're going to do now is save this as a snapshot just so we can see what the before looks like before we apply the brush settings. So we'll say before brush. I think I said bush. There we go, brushes. All right, we'll save that as our new snapshot, and let's get going. Now, what we've done here is if you go and click on your adjustment brush or hit K to pull it down, um, we can go into the menu, and you can see that basically we've organized this in, in kind of the order that you're going to want to use them. So when it comes to retouching, which is what we're going to do with this image, it, it's all there for you, and it acts as kind of like a guide on what to do next. So we're going to start, obviously, from the top and just go through and work through each item as needed. So let's start with skin softening. I'm going to select this right here. And what I like to do is I like to drag this over my entire skin area and then paint it out of basically, you know, kind of clean it up and fine tune it after it's kind of in the general area. And we can hit O so that we can see our mask as we're painting it as well. That way we can actually see a little better of where it's going. So usually on this first pass, I'm kind of going quick over everything. And then uh, as we fine tune, I'll actually get in there and make sure that we, we aren't covering certain areas. Now, what we do want to be careful of is that we don't cover uh, areas of detail in the image that we don't want softened. So stuff like the hair and, and you know dress and everything like that we want to keep uncovered. So now that I have a general kind of area painted in, what we're going to do now is we're going to zoom in. Um, and I'm just going to hold space bar and click to zoom. And we're going to go to 1 to 1. I'm going to hold down Alt or Option on a Mac. And we're just going to refine this mask just by painting with a 100% feather around the hair area and, and just kind of removing it from all the area that we want to retain detail. So really I just want this only on the skin. So we're going to keep going through. This process doesn't uh, take that long and uh, and we don't have to be super super meticulous about it. I mean if we're submitting this to a magazine or a competition or you know something like that where it needs to be flawless we'd probably take a little more time on it. But for the most part this setting is, is fairly uh, light-handed so it's not going to be a very heavy-handed setting that you're applying and so if you're a little bit off uh, you're not really going to notice it too much unless you're enlarging or blowing up the photo you know to like a 20 by 30 or something in which case you probably would want to make sure it's all pretty flawless. All right, let's scroll here to the other side. And as I'm going, I'm just kind of increasing and decreasing the size by scrolling with my mouse wheel uh, just to kind of fit in the areas that I need to. And then we're just removing it out of that area. I want to make sure that we also remove it from the top of her dress because we don't want to kill the detail on the top of that dress. And what we're also going to do is we're going to shrink it down. Uh, I'm going to shrink down the size of my brush, and we're going to just go right over these pearls because I don't want the pearls to be covered either. All right, going to retain all the details in the pearls. And again, we want it to be close. It doesn't have to be quite perfect. And if I miss a little bit too much, which I think I did right here, I'm just going to go back and repaint this area right there. All right, that's great. Let's go and finish up by going on this left side, dragging up the arm. And I think I can zoom out now and kind of work from this. You know, we don't need to be as precise on this side. We're just going to paint up the arm around the hair and just make sure that inside of this area we have uncovered the hair as well. Kind of on this shoulder a little bit. There we go. And that's good enough as far as the outer area of this mask. Now what we need to do is uncover details on the face. And so what we want to do is we want to uncover the eyes and the eyebrows um, as well as the lips. Um, and also like eyelashes and stuff like that obviously. but. But those are kind of the areas that we're looking for. Now I'm keeping the feather fairly strong as, again, we're keeping it at 100% because we do want it to be, whoops, I accidentally hit paint over instead of erase. So again, we're holding Alt to erase this. Keeping our feather at 100% just to make sure that we have kind of a soft graduation between areas that are uh, not painted versus areas that are painted with the softening effect. Okay, so we're just painting out the eyes. And one thing that I do like to do is after I get this kind of rough painting in, is I actually go over it um, just without the mask on. Just to see like, you know, without the mask on, you can actually see what areas are being affected and where it's, you know, where the differences are. And so what we're gonna do is zoom to three to one. And I'm just gonna do a little tiny bit of cleanup just by kind of dragging over the eyebrow area, kind of getting in here and just repainting in the mask in these areas just to give it a little bit of uh, refinement to it because we do want to keep those areas relatively soft. All right, and the lips, I'm going to make sure that we've 
kind of covered everything and then we're just going to go back and, and smooth again on the very outside of the lips and you can see it making a tiny bit of difference it's just a nice way of kind of going over and just refining it all right so we're done with our general skin softening so what we'll do is we'll flip this off just so you guys can see it so there it is without the skin softening here it is with the skin softening and I'm gonna hit enter at this point so that we start a new brush now we're going to go to the next brush which is the line diminisher now the line diminisher is designed to do exactly this now I'd, I'd highly recommend guys one of the kind of the first things that people do wrong when they're uh, retouching is that rather than diminishing lines they're completely removing them we don't really want to completely remove lines from people's faces unless they're very distracting or things that just are completely unflattering but if you remove lines like say underneath eyes uh, like you basically like we, we all have a little bit of bags in our eyes and if we remove it completely then we're gonna look like little aliens and people are gonna look at the photos and go oh you know that doesn't really look like me um, and, and they're not really gonna necessarily know why but it's because we've removed too much of the features that are on their face and so what we want to do with these kind of objects with lines and stuff like that is we want to diminish rather than remove and so that's what this line diminisher does it just kinda of helps us diminish and what I'm doing here is I'm just painting over these lines and then kinda of just refining it as needed by erasing it out of certain areas that looks pretty good right there there is one distracting little pimple right here that I'm gonna remove just with my healing tool well, this is just the general healing tool there's nothing special to this so we're just gonna remove that real quick and that's great right there alright so let's zoom back out and uh, we're gonna go and start a new brush I'm gonna hit K we're gonna drop down now and go to the eye brightener and so now we're gonna zoom into the face and what we're gonna do is brighten up the eyes and what we want to do is we want to paint along with the light in the eyes so what we're gonna do is drag it over and this is one of those brush presets too that you guys will need to modify all these brush presets we've basically designed to work uh, you know it's kinda of set to general settings that work for most photos but depending on the exposures and depending on the effect that you're trying to get you will need to tweak it so what I like to do is paint it in and then just paint it out basically by holding alt uh, you know we don't want it in the corners of the eyes and what I like to do is follow kind of the highlight uh, on the eye because the way that the light is falling into the eye we can kind of see shadows on the eye itself and so we want to follow those shadows to keep this uh, enhancement looking very realistic we're gonna subtract it out of this bottom to make sure the bottom isn't enhanced at all we don't want to brighten up skin or anything like that alright let's check out the mask real quick this looks about right I'm gonna erase it just from this little area right here and from this area right here and let's check it out one more time that looks good okay so that's great right there what we're gonna do now is go back to our brushes I'm gonna hit enter to save that brush and just give me a new one we're gonna go to the iris enhancer and this is just gonna pull out a little bit of detail out of the irises so it's just gonna kind of effectively enhance the color and stuff like that and if you have like an iris that's already completely black I wouldn't use this because it's only gonna further blacken them this does kind of what it does is basically amplifies the highlights and the shadows a little bit and then add some saturation to kind of pull out the color so if there is no color there then it's kind of pointless to to do it but uh, what we're gonna do now at this point is zoom out and I just wanna see I'm going to uh, let's actually turn off these brushes just for a second so we can preview this and see if it looks okay and it still looks fine it looks natural at this point at this point is a, it's a good time to kind of adjust these settings if you need to to make sure that these eyes you know we don't go overboard basically but what we'll do is we'll dial in all of our settings and we can come back to it in a second if uh, if we need to so let's zoom back in we're gonna go back to our adjustment brushes again and this time we're going down to the lip enhancer which is our next item we're gonna take this and pull it over the lips and you'll see that this kinda of just has the effect of you know making the lips pop just a little bit more darkening them up a little bit um, increasing the uh, saturation just a tiny bit and just just amplifying them overall alright that looks good let's check out the mask by hitting O it looks fine let's check out what other I'm gonna hit enter real fast and let's see what else we got we have a teeth whitener which we don't need we have a catch light enhancer which we could use and then we have catch light creators which we don't really need on this um, but let's do, go do the catch light enhancing so let's go back up to the eyes and this is a really cool little uh, brush that we've basically created that's just gonna kind of like amplify these catch lights a little bit so that they just kinda of stand out a little bit more you'll see it kind of adds a little bit of saturation to it helps them pop just a little bit more than they would if we wanted to we could enhance them further by kind of adding to them by using these other window softbox catch light and reflector catch light which will actually create give you brushes to help you create uh, larger catch lights or create catch lights on images that don't have it but for this case I think it's fine just where it is and uh, we'll have tutorials on that later on anyway so we don't need to do that now 
Let's hit K again to bring it back up our brushes. Let's check out everything. And we're good on the retouching side. Now what I want to do is do some detail enhancement. So I'm going to zoom back out. And uh, there's a few areas I'd like to enhance in this. And let's just start from the top. So with the detail enhancing, we have this general all-purpose enhancer, which is great for you know areas that we don't want to be kind of uh, too strong. Um, now in this image, we have actually enhancers that we're going to use for each specific portion. So what we're going to do is start with this nature color. And we're going to go and we're going to drag over the wheat. And each one of these detail enhancers is designed basically to do certain things with certain objects. And that's why we give them names like nature enhancer, because it's great for objects that are colored uh, with nature colors, like green and, and browns and stuff like that. It does a really good job enhancing it and increasing detail and stuff like that. So we're just going to drag it over all the wheat. And obviously you can use the other brushes, you know, brushes that are labeled for other things, you could use it on whatever you want really. But if you stick to what they're designed for, you'll get the best effect because each one is designed again to kind of uh, enhance certain things and certain colors and, and do different types of stuff. So I'd recommend sticking to it. I'm just kind of cleaning up the outside edge. And again, we can hit O if we want to see our mask. You can see exactly where I'm painting in. I'm going to paint in under here just to kind of enhance this area. And just paint out of the skin. One thing that we do not want to detail enhance ever really is uh, is skin. Um, skin when it when you detail enhance it, it just brings out all the pores and everything that you really don't want to see, especially on female subjects who are uh, well who basically don't want to look like they have every single pore and, and blemish visible. I'm going to remove it from the hair and from this side of the arm, and that's great right there. We can hit enter or hit K to uh, save out that setting and then we're going to hit K one more time and we're going to go down to now our let's see let's do a hair lash uh, detail enhancing so we're going to drag this just over the hair and let's hit O so we can just kind of see it as we paint I don't need to see the mask necessarily alright once again this is just enhancing the detail in the hair kind of making the hair pop um, you know giving us really nice highlights increasing the saturation a little bit just kind of overall makes it stand out just a little bit more and again, you guys can always adjust based on you know your preference and stuff like that. You might not want it to be this much detail enhanced. Uh, I use that with the incorrect grammar, but that's all right, guys. I am not a speaker. I'm a doer. I'm a I'm a Lightroom and Photoshop guy. All right, so here we go. Let's hit O real quick to bring up the mask and just check it out. It looks good. We're not covering any area of the skin, which is great. I'm just going to subtract out this area right here. Um, we want to make sure that we're not covering skin. I'm going to hit O again. All right. And let's see if there's anything else we want to do to it. I'm just going to bring up my brush menu again and see if there's anything else I want to do. Um, the sky cloud ocean enhancer, you know, the sky is kind of like really blurred out in this image. The sky cloud ocean enhancer is really great for when we can see clouds and stuff like that. It brings out a lot of the detail. I'm not going to worry about it for this image because I don't think we really need it. Um, and I think we're good on pretty much everything else. If we wanted to, we could use a general all-purpose detail enhancer just to kind of enhance the detail in her dress a bit. Um, I'll leave this up to you guys. What I do want to make sure we don't do is uh, when you're enhancing certain areas, don't drag back over areas that have already been enhanced like the hair because it'll just amplify it and it's going to be too strong. And, and if you do actually blow it up, it's going to be noticeable like that hair in that one area is going to look different from the other areas. So I'm just going to go over this area, make sure we subtract off the skin. And this is great right here. Let's uh, save this as a new snapshot. So I'm just going to hit plus. We're going to say after brushes. And then let's check it out, guys. So here is our before. And here is the after. So you can see how big of a difference it makes just in the brush settings itself. We didn't change any other settings. We didn't change any exposure settings, basic panel settings, nothing else other than just brushes were added to this image. And it makes a huge difference. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little tutorial, kind of giving you guys a once over on the brush presets. We're going to have a bunch more tutorials for you guys, so don't worry. And uh, we'll see you guys with the next video.